Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time. All right, we've got two new mods today. What's up, Dane? It is mod time. Two, no updates. We've got two from the Ozdokin uh, two packs. The Rotocol. It is a weeder. 12,000 bucks, 6.2 meters, transport width of three, 85 horsepower. You got a traffic kit animation and a fold option. Draw drops, that's what we were just talking about it. Really? Pretty cool, no? Maybe they're listening to us. Maybe it's a glitch in the matrix. So it's a six meter weeder. 6.2 meter weeder. Looks good. I don't know how it's a pack though. Again, my, my definition of pack is, is confusing. Is one weeder a pack? All right, let's look at the Bolton pack. Professional, Professional streamer, streamer, everybody. Thank you, hot, sexy one. These are subsoilers. We've got a 745, which is 10 grand, 3.15 whopping meters for 150 horsepower. Or you've got a $14,000, 4.05 meters for 230 horsepower. You got roller animations. I mean, they're subsoilers. They look good. They're very small, but they look beautiful. It's a very cute subsoiler. What's up, Chris? Apparently, if I say something's cute, it's funny. So, such a cute subsoiler. Apparently, I called one of the sheds cute. And that got a chuckle out of, out of Momo. All right, so there you go. You got two. Two is a pack. One, I'm not sure, is a pack. So I'm going to just, you know, I got to find something to, to, to criticize. But they look, they look gorgeous. Some nice small equipment. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we don't have these on console, so they're PC only. There's no, no Oz Doken console, so. Sorry, Chris, nothing for you. No mods for you. Come back three days. All right, so we do have something to look at, though. Roy has sent us this copy of Riverview Farm. He has updated it. He has sent it to Giants for testing. I don't know what stage it is. I don't know if Roy's back or not. There is one required mod, which is his production, his agricultural supply productions, he said. There are a few productions on the map that will only work if you have the uh, premium, I believe. So you don't have to have it, but the productions won't won't do the things that you know they're supposed to do. But you know that his production mod is is amazing in and of itself. Amazing enough that someone did a video on it. You know that guy. And by the way, we hit 2,000 views on the uh, Wyawiga map tour. So that's pretty, 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 I'm pretty happy about that. 2,000 views. And we do have another video today that we released this morning. Lambo sent us a couple of mods for his Mars production. And we did a preview of those. So go look at that. Right there. Show a little support to Lambo. All right. Look at our PDA. There is your PDA. Now, 
It's Roy's here. He can answer more definitively than I can. But he said he changed quite a bit of terrain. Now, is this going to need a new save, Roy? A new save. Okay, figured so. So let me see if I can drag this over. All right, let's just do this. So here is your old PDA for the current version that's out there. And as you can see, like there's, we go back and forth, there's a road that comes through here. So this road through here is, is new. You have this road through here is new on this side, right? Seems to be most of it. So I do like the addition of this road here, Roy. I think that's a good, good addition. This is pretty much, this road over here is pretty much the same. But he splits this field. I think the rest is pretty much the same. Much smoother. There you go. So crop types. Obviously, we've got the standard plus our three premium. We've started a new farmer. Crop calendar. Very different. Much different. Up by field 46. Forty-five, forty-six. So this one. All right, we got a little bit of that right there. I don't know if you're aware of that. A little bit of, little bit of fert sticking over there. Not the field. It's just the fert state. Look at the rocks in that field. That thing has got. That thing's rocky. All right, we'll, we'll go over there since we're right by it. Well, you know me, Roy. I find stuff. Uh, dude, PJ, aren't those things amazing? Like the detail Lambo's putting all that stuff is just crazy. Oh yeah, this this road is perfect. Look at that. Hilly. Reminds me of the hill on uh, on Glen Lethen. Yeah, he's done some amazing stuff, PJ. He sends me pictures and look at that. We're gonna we're gonna don't look down yet. Yeah, this road looks really good, Roy. So let's go back and look at our calendar and stuff. Quite a, quite a bit different. What's up, Loveweed? You can see we've got pretty decent harvest. Three month harvest seasons are pretty good. Two, two planting seasons for your grains. Yeah, you got ample time. I do, Irish. I do. Doing all right today. We just ate a bunch of gross stuff, love weed. But chat was chat was nice to me and blew a level seven hype train up. Single section of the road that wasn't changed. Wow. So we start with nothing. You got quite a bit of equipment. Of course, some of it's not, not doing so good. 92, 164 months for the bail spike. Is that considered an antique? 164 month bail spike. Yeah. 
All right, we own three animal barns. We've got our production. That is, yeah, this one, this is Roy's production. Again, we made a video on this. This thing is crazy good. It is situated on your, uh, on this farm up here. We do own all this up here. You do own this. A nice little starting area. I like that. Some smaller fields to start with. Plenty of smaller fields. I mean, you got six of them. Four are ready to go. One looks like grass. Two grass. All right. Two grass fields, four cooking there. Let's, let's go higher so we can see. Got a nice big silage clamp here. Guessing that's going to hold. I know, four or five hundred thousand liters. Pretty big. Nice shed. Got your silo. Your production. Three and a half to four million? Oh my god. Okay. I seriously underestimated that by a factor of ten. That's a four million liters. Holy cow. All right. Well, there you go, chat. You got your grass field there. We've got a fence here. Some of our equipment. Moo moos. A newer pit. Now it's got Roy's hedges on it, which again, you can get rid of. And just because Roy's here, I'm gonna cut down, I'm gonna cut down at least one, one hedge. I can't be on a Roy map and not cut down a hedge. Where are you? Get over here. Bye bye. There you go. Map is this to the phone get new JD Martin. Nice no, number. This is called Riverview by Cavalier Roy, who's kind enough to send this early. It is an update. Why are you not dying? doesn't want to die bro you've made it you made it indestructible take the silage pit out and put straw harvest shed pits like a glove oh really nice what's up smiler he does such a good job and again i'm not a huge uk map fan but the time for b and i spent on on Glen Lathan was so much fun. We had a little bit of fun with Roy on his hedges and, you know, but his, his maps are gorgeous. Now look at all this stuff you got over here. You've got your silos, perk tank, plenty of room for stuff there. Plenty of stuff for room there. Cows will get out. That's okay. We got we got RFID trackers on the cows now, Smiler. So much room over here. Definitely didn't have this much storage on Glen Levin. Good news is this map doesn't have extreme snow yet. Glen Levin had some snow. This map does not. <laughs> mm, excuse me, sorry. So we got more uh, more storage over here. A little karma, you can buy what buy what you want. Feeds or feed.
Another big shed. Mail storage, liquid storage. Dude, there's a lot on here. Chickens. I don't see how you could think this map is anything but gorgeous so far. Yeah, starting equipment. Do it this way. Starting equipment, look. I know he does play Wreckfest a lot. Look at all this numb. You got a T6. A Valtra, a Fast Trek, and a Massey. Good size harvester. I mean, you have pretty much everything here. A Ragnar. And uh, we get a shout out for Ragnar there if anybody's. I think my mods are there. Play without taking any hedges? It's impossible. I'm going to have to kill some hedges. Like, this would be a hedge killed right here, so I could go from this field to this. Like, I'd have to get rid of this right here. What the actual F, Matsy? Matt's a gift in a 10 bomber. And we got 10 alerts again. Matsy, how you doing, dude? You UK trained Barry, Tiger B, Deke, Dennis K, Quiet Guy, Serial Killer. I like that name. K Dog, King Lazy. I like that name too. Junior Stepman. JR Stepman, sorry. Ames Bots. All getting some great emotes in a sub. Ad free for a month, thanks to Mr. Matsy. How are you, Trucker Matsy? I got to see Matsy in a truck last night, chat. Got his headset and everything. Trucking along. Oh, it's a grass field. It's not a pasture pasture. I mean, it's pasture, but it's a grass field. I'm definitely going to mow this, Smiler. Stony. Definitely gonna mow this. I mean, it says it's a field. I'm gonna mow it. Gonna get grass off it. All right, we got another shed down here. In case we need to store some stuff. We've got the river. It is river view, so we do have the river and the bridge. The, the, I don't know. Like, maybe it's just me, but I think Roy does the most with the terrain changes. Now, like the hill on Glen Lathan always gave us problems, but look at the terrain on this. You're not getting up here with a tiny tractor. 4B, what are you doing dude what's wrong with you guys missed the hype train could have make me made me eat more beans could have made me eat more beans ramble a lot cartel jahilo dractus this is handicraft turbo matthias raven yadi yeah i don't know that's a lot of consonants right there and dj all getting matsy told you to no, we're not getting popular. Golden Kappas. Yeah, we got Golden Kappas. 4B, thank you. Thank you for the 10 bomb. You and Matsy together. Thank you, Matsy, for telling. God damn it. Thank you, Schultz. Thank you both for the 10 bombs. Yeah, like you listen to what Matsy tells you to do. I don't buy it. I think Roy does the most with terrain. 
All right, thank you, 4B. Guys, go check out Matsy and 4B and their links there. Kind enough to come in and drop 10 bombs on me. And there does seem to be a little bit of chaos. This Friday. Now this, this gets widened, Smiler. One of these sections comes out right here. That's too tight a turn for me. One of these sections comes out and one of this section comes out. And then I can live with the hedges. I'm fine with the hedges, but I got to have room to turn in here. So I'm not getting rid of hedges. I'm just widening entryways. Is that? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Well, that's never going to happen, Smiler. So, yeah, sorry, Num. That's never going to happen. It is a novice move. Yes. All right. Well, let's buy all the productions. Let's see what Roy's got in here for productions. Oh, I know, Smiler. I know. Yeah, it's too tight for the average guy to get in. Exactly. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, absolutely all good banter. It's funny because, like, you see, you, like, the UK guys, right, when they go, of course, that's, that's perfectly average, Tyler. Stop bragging. The UK guys see, like, a big US map, and they're like, I don't know how you guys do those giant fields, right? And then we look at the hedges, and we say, I don't know how you guys do the hedges. So we each have our things. All right, that is our main production. We also have a sawmill. Wait, let me go up. We got a spinnery. We've got the sawmill. The bakery, which has the pizza, the dough, and the cookies and the brioche. Yeah, some of our things are just bigger. These are added in. We got pancakes for Yos. We've got waffles. I sent I sent Yos a waffle. YouTube short last night. I don't think he was happy. We got the oils, which does have soybean oil. A lot of these productions Roy's redone to, to add these things, like the brioche and the soybean oil. Got soy flour. There you go. There's my favorite factory, the cereal factory. We do have soy milk. Soybeans equals soy milk. Yes, this is mod time, Richard. We got a tailor shop. We got the sugar mill. We got a biogas soup, of course, and uh, our potato chips. Don't think I'll ever be making soup again. I'm just saying. I think we've done enough with the soups. I don't know, recognize this building, Roy. Is this a new building for this? This one does not look familiar to me. Oh, that's because it's the potato one. That's why. I don't think we did this one on Zalonka, so I'm unfamiliar with this building. Good looking building now. Yeah, we did not do potato processing, so I don't remember seeing this one. Good looking building now. Again, yeah, we go up, we got little winding like paths up here. We can go through the woods, the grandma's house. What's up, lead? Lead on a 20 streak. How you doing, lead? What's up here? Did you put buried treasure up here, Roy? Look at that. You can drive up here.
Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I want to jump off this. Don't mind me, chat. Just having a little shenanigans. Yes, that's where you put the moonshine. Easily defensible from all sides. Oh god, we're gonna hit the house. Oh. We're, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. You know what we need to do, chat, though, is we need to clear those trees off and put the catapults up there. That is an excellent spot for the catapult. We could hit half the half the map from that spot. Protect ourselves from foreign invaders by sea and land. But we got some vines down here. For you crazy people. We got grapes. We've got olives. See Nessie? Get a shed there. A lovely town going through here. Sugar melt. I'll admit I did not play on Riverview so far. But this is pretty gorgeous, right? You got another farm over here. Giant silage clamp. Silo, your barns. Plenty of room for stuff. Chickens. More area over here for stuff. Second most. What's the most popular one? You got oil plant there, I believe. Maypole. I'll tell you what, Oki loves Maypole. Oki's favorite map. You got a lot of forest area here, if that's your thing. Oh, are you? There you go. This is cool. You got the grain mill. Field sizes are, I would say, get some small, I would call this small, small to medium. I mean, they are tucked in between mountains here. Ooh, look at that bridge. We're gonna die there. Definitely gonna die on this bridge. What was it? Spectacle Island had the like the car that fell off or the tanker truck in the in the water over the bridge to remind you. All right, don't tempt me with a good time, numb. Get him a hinger this time. Got a railing. I don't know if I can drive off it. I'm high centered. Roy's not letting me drive off. Hey, right, fine. There you go.
A lot of forested area. Sawmill. Good sized field here. Exactly numb in the river. Marshy area like that. Brackish water, maybe. Another good sized field. We're back to our farm. We got a couple areas you can start with. I don't think we went over here. Our supermarket. Rock Crusher. These are the fancy people that live on the island. Got boats. Get in the boat. Oh, like, uh, let's go this way. Beautiful town. Yeah, I really like the use of terrain on here. There's your BGA. More little town, a winding path, more bridges, different levels. I mean, that's a pretty neat building. I like that one. That one. Larson's Livestock. Yeah, he definitely does. Nicely incorporated. What we got here. Larson's Livestock Auctions, sale and bonded. Yeah, I don't know about getting a semi around on this map. That's really not the point of the map. Gonna have to do some, some smaller farming. I like this house. We're gonna buy this one. No one else around us, right? Easy access to the road. No one else around us. Go out in the backyard naked. No one will care. I mean, terrain is one thing. The way you integrated it to like the different levels, I think is, is impressive. And also like to the fields as well. Bringing the water for a crappy hole. There you go. Throw some hooks of cheese out there. Like even this, even this field, right? You're going up quite a bit. The bottom of this field going up. It just makes your farming definitely interesting. Get a piece distant. Have you? Yeah, he... Don't blame you. And does good work. So it is in testing. He's going to uh, hopefully get someone to approve this pretty soon. It will require a new save. He did. He did add this road over here. All this road is new. Which I do. I think that's that's a good addition. Gives you access to both sides over here. And then he split these two fields down here. Go up.
I know, like me, me and 4B had a blast on Glen Lethen. Like we started on the Oaks and the Oaks was good. We, I really like the Oaks, but Glen Lethen feels more like a UK map to me than, than the Oaks did. Just because we had some big open areas on, on the Oaks. Now, I did get crazy with the chainsaw and make some big open areas on Glen Lethen, so there is that. There is that, but we did have a blast on that map. Technically, it's Scottish, but you know. Turn up my volume on what? Crimson. Turn up my volume on points? I don't know what that means. Sometimes small. Yes, I agree. Like we didn't have anything crazy on Glen Leth and, and we had we had fun. We did have a high capacity Rupert trailer. But there you go. Riverview chat by Cavalier Roy. Coming soon to the mod hub. Hopefully soon. Everyone contributing to the challenge. Thank you. All right, there we go. We hear big guys sing. You killed your points with this challenge. You fell for my trap then. Oh, absolutely right. I would definitely consider playing in this map. Absolutely. I don't know how many years on this earth I got left. I'm going to get real weird with it. Get real weird with it. All right, we got to fling something. It is Friday. We have to fling something, so. He'll have over 100k. And, well, hey. Tried. There you go. Roy wins. Everybody wins. Up the loading screen. What's up, Brent? How are we doing today? Some wins. Vegemite, you really thought the point score wouldn't get hit? I don't know. It's going to be close, Legacy. It's going to be close. Legacy today. Richard's knocking on my door. That is a scary thought, Crimson. Uh, Fire Duck lost. Ooh. Nope. We're on the Mars map. Oh, well, right. this is, we deleted our save, so I started on the Mars map. That's not technically the Mars map. These are Lambos productions. Again, watch the video today. I'll give you a sneak peek of the video, but go watch the video. This is our water plant. Again, I think we've shown these a little bit. Everybody, this is your CEO. You know, we have an important to do. Like in the Thank you, Brent. I made that sign right there, so I'm pretty proud of that, that it made it into a, into a mod. I created that sign. Very happy with that. I would, Crimson. You're not wrong. But uh, let's look at the productions. So you've got a solar plant and a water plant. So your first step on Mars is going to be getting power. So you can do the solar, which just brings in, you know, you got the solar plants out and it's just going to make 
electricity, right? Easy enough. You just put this down. You're going to start making electricity. The wind reactor, you got to have the maintenance parts. And then you make more. On the maintenance parts you buy, that's what Ted, Ted has got over here. We've got Ted with some maintenance parts. Start delivering them here. And now we're going to be making... Now, this is cool when it turns on. Let's turn it on from over here. Oh, I turned on the wrong one. <laughs> Dang it. Lead. We're in the wrong one. Hold on. The, uh, the other cool thing is these these tunnels are individual tunnels, right? So in your construction menu, you have your productions, which are the buildings here, right? It's just this. No, oh, no, I want to delete that. Where, where am I? I'm in... Decoration? No. Where's my building? Silos? No. Tools? Just did this last night. Now I forget. Fences? No. Is it others? Oh, yeah. It's in others. Hit the goal. Joe's doing math. So these tunnels is what I use. Like this tunnel is that. So I connected all these tunnels together, right? And look how look how seamlessly they look. Like they've all connected perfectly. So this is the wind generator, and this one is really cool. We put we gotta get maintenance parts. Alright, come on, Ted. There's Lambo's links right there. But this one's cool with the animations. Like, look at that. The wind turbines go in. You're ionizing whatever. You're making... You're making power. So our power plant, our wind reactor is kicking off now. You can set this to distribute. So it'll kick to the water cycle. Again, your electricity is going to make your water. Because apparently you can microwave dirt and get water out. And then maintenance will get you a little bit more. But those are your two starting plants. You get... You make electricity and then you make water. All this stuff's dynamic up there. You got you got dudes in here talking to you. Can you tell that I've been polishing it, wasting the company's time, effort, and money? No, me never. This dude is well. There was a dude over here. You got to turn that one on. There you go. I can't believe that guy called me a clone. Just can't get that out of my head. How dare he assume my identity? Yeah. Just amazing on the details of this. Really cool. So let's fling something. We gotta fling something. All right, what do we got to fling today? I found a I found a trailer. 
or not a trailer. I found these. These are new leaders. JHD did them originally. I think this guy, NL34, or Alan, Alan in, in Zunza, and it is 18 to 25 thousands. I don't know. It's a nice big spray. 32 meters holds 18,000. Put the extension for 25. No, oh, can't use you, Ted. Sorry. I need an actual tractor. Could use this thing. Shown that off before. I don't know. I hadn't heard a new leader before, so this was on Facebook. Fill it up with lime, see if it works. Okay, so it goes through the top cover. Not a big deal. And apparently someone didn't do mass equals false. A nice animation on the door there. It said 385. I mean... Uh, something I found on Facebook. I mean, lime is, lime is heavy. Yeah, it's still not that right. I mean, it's getting there. We're building up speed, but... I don't know. I would have put mass equals false in there. Or, or added or lowered the weight or something. It's, it's just sluggish. Lime is not spread 32 meters. That's pretty standard. What's up, Yos? Yeah, clipping on the cover and realist. It's just sluggish. How are you, Yos? I don't know. I would I would have made it mass equals false. Just 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 me. All right, I've I've lost interest. It's too it's too slow. What are you doing? No, get in there. Get in there. Well, that's not right. Oh, holy cow. That thing's flying. Hey, it flew. There was no errors to it. But I would add mass equals false. All right, the last thing we're going to show real quick before we get out of here and go back to farming is Richard and my game team have worked up the rope of root crop art, which we've all shown before. We like it, but now it takes the good wash products. So 
If you have the production pack, yeah, it takes the wet crops. I didn't have it set to anything. It just flew. It's good. So, for example, if we fill this up with taters. There's your taters. If we fill it up with washed potatoes, you can see they're all nice and shiny and light brown. What do parsnips look like? There's your parsnips. Shiny and white. Uh, there is a french fry factory, but there's actually a few out there on third parties, but I know like Celebuki's got french fries on most of his maps now, I think. A bullet. Oh, I think it's stuck in a tree. Did it clear the tree or is it stuck in a tree? Cleared the tree. Um, go chat. Did I, did I lose it? I think I lost it. A oh, little lag there. Where'd it go? I think we lost it. There's that one. Oh, it made it all the way to here? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's still there, but just barely. And yeah, that was a that was a ten of ten for sure. Literally stopped at the edge of the map. Well done, Richard. I don't know, Crimson. We're getting some good flights today. Maybe it's the thin Martian air. Yeah. But go check out the, the video. Go watch Lambo's stuff on the Mars products, productions. They're really cool. I mean, that's just gorgeous right there. But uh, yeah, let's hear big guy. Tony's my time, it's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time.